Um, no, I just I just like uh, skating mini ramps and like trying to learn how to skate tranny properly. You know, I could do ledge tricks on transition, but um, I've always wanted to learn how to really like carve around properly and not skate like someone like Grant Taylor, but but like be able to carve. You know, like if you see if you see those people, those type of skaters skate in person, you're like that is insane. You know, definitely doesn't translate in videos and stuff. Yeah, it's insane. So. I've always had interest in that, but when I was younger, I did skate uh, little mini ramps and, you know, try to do blunt kickflips all day and land primo, all that stuff like a lot of kids do. Personally, I, I'm like not even close to like the tricks that I think of, you know what I mean? I think it's still at like baby stages as far as that's concerned, especially. It's not really the coolest, but nowadays, like you just said, you can kind of just like find a perfect ledge in a skate park or a little flat bar or like whatever now. It doesn't even, you know. So I think the the opportunity now to, to do things you want is just, the opportunity is huge, you know. And I don't really like that, you know. I'm not really stoked on the fact that we can just do stuff in parks for the first time and put it out there and then that's kind of it. I'd prefer to, you know, do these tricks street skating and film a video and like work on that but it's just not the way of the world anymore like you know you can't be waiting for years if it took me years to film parts i wouldn't probably like be interested in doing it so much you know but luckily it's probably you know a year long process to make something that i personally get excited about and get to work on with my friends so it's still cool but yeah the possibilities aren't even close to like you know i, I think There's still so much that hasn't really been uh, like messed with. I mean, it's all just tecker and tecker and tecker. It's not like, but I think with flat bars and rails, it's still at like baby stages. Ledges, it's a little different. You know, you can do a flip in, flip out, flip in and out and on the ledge, like a lot of stuff. But the flat bar thing, like I'll do like nolly nose ground, nolly flip lip side and stuff. But that's like super baby if you think about what's possible from there, you know? Could be doing nolly nose ground, nolly front side flip switch crook. Like, there's so many things to do, you know. It's all just sounds insane, but it's like, it's possible. With social media, everything's become a lot more independent. There's no reason that people can't be doing parts and can't be putting out things when they want instead of the traditional, you know, wait for the company to be finished with everyone's part for five years or four, three, two or three years, whatever it was. So it's just, it's just become a lot easier to do that. Cameras are really accessible now, like every little kid has friends with cameras and they have a camera and it's just, it's just super easy now. So I didn't know that that video would kind of be what it is now, but yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. I just had a footage at the time and I'd been filming for other you know, various videos for companies and I had all this separate stuff and the whole plan came about and it worked out and stuff and and then Dylan had his part like pretty soon after that, you know? My part was just a part, but in my eyes, when I saw the Dylan part, that was to me the first real, you know? Mine was a three minute part for me turning pro. Dylan's was like a piece, you know what I mean? It was like a real like full video and I don't know if my video is in question with that type of, you know? I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but like that time period, you know, there was a few different people that had videos that kind of turned it into this thing. It wasn't just the video that I had, no, no way, so. I probably look at that question differently. I would think I don't need to be doing anything else. I think video parts is what I need to be doing. That's just a personal thing. This contest stuff and, and signings and demos and all this, like when I'm 40 years old, like I'll remember these times for sure, but, but I won't remember them as well as all these, the trips I take to film with James and Chris and Jake Darwin, like that's what I remember, you know, and I can watch that stuff and remember that. It's just what I'm interested in, like I said earlier, more important than anything else. Um, Maybe doing it as frequent isn't, isn't important because I could be putting a lot more on Instagram and, and just film a part every two years or whatever. But yeah, once again, it's just a personal thing. 
And if I don't do it, I think at the end of the career, I wouldn't have done certain tricks and things that I wanted to do. Because it pushes you to do that, you know? When you have a video part, there's a certain, like, uh, standard you want to have for it, at least me. Uh, I like to do new tricks and stuff, so it, like, pushes me to actually do it. Because, I mean, it's easy to think in your head, like, oh, I want to do a, this trick, and then you just never do it. <laughs> I mean, every skater is guilty of that shit. You're like, I'm going to do that, and then you get to the place, and you just don't even try. It's weird, but it's just... Uh, just life, yeah. Like you can't really find interviews of how I actually am or anything on the internet or anything. So it's kind of, uh, you know, I just get asked these questions about street league or about how I started skating. And I'm not like a camera person, you know what I mean? Like I'm not like, this isn't my favorite thing to do, but you know, so when they started doing that, I was like, eh, you know. That's kind of cool, you know. The, the video thing was actually really funny because a lot of people hit me up thinking it was a real film. Like the Zygram, like, uh, movie trailer thing. They thought, like, it was a real movie. So I thought that was pretty funny. And, like, those dudes just, you know, probably have some perception of how I am and stuff. So it's all good, you know. That's their, that's their shit. <laughs> thanks, thanks for them for fucking putting some stuff out of me. <laughs> I wish it was true, you know, I wish I was a robot and I didn't get sore and shit, like, that'd be fucking awesome, but it's <laughs> just not the case. Uh, a lot of video stuff, um, some new changes coming up soon, which is going to be pretty exciting, but yeah, not much I can really speak about, but a lot of video stuff. Uh, what else is really going on? That's really, on the skate side, that's it really. A few trips, I'm gonna be in Australia a lot this year. Uh, and really filming, yeah. On the side of skating, that's it. You know, I'm into a whole lot of other stuff, but like, that's irrelevant to this, you know? <laughs> so just, yeah. Should, should be filming a part pretty soon. Or I mean, I have footage for it, but you know, it takes a while, so we'll see.